This will be a short video on this walking toy I made. It's a little man that pulls a cart kind of in a steampunk style, I guess. Or that's what I was going for. Has a cart with a boiler on the back and a kind of an old timey man with a hat on his head. It's kind of a robot thing too. It's built similar in construction style to us. One I previously posted with uh, the legs that bend at the knees to give a little bit of added realism to the walking motion. It's driven by the same electronics that, that this one was driven with. Um, a small 150 milliamp battery that's in this boiler through a switch to an N20 gear motor in the man. I'll, uh, I'll disassemble it and show you the internals. To disassemble it first, we'll take a screw on this side and a screw on this side that hold this arm in place. And the arm is all that holds all this, the cart to the man. These are two millimeter by eight millimeter screws. You can just pull the arms out like this and then the, the body will come away. The arms are keyed to the body with this hex pin that's glued to each arm. It fits into this hex opening in the body. The wire that goes to the motor runs through this slot in the main body. It's kind of hard to show all this. I'll uh, disassemble it a little farther. First, I'll take the back of the boiler off. There's one screw that holds that on. And inside the boiler is a little battery. It's from a, a little drone, I believe. The switch is just super hot glued to the uh, boiler. This little smoke stack or whatever you want to call it is super glued to the boiler. The pedestals that the boiler sets on, there are two of them are identical. And they're held on with four screws that run up through the pedestals and into the boiler kind of hard to line up uh, you may want a double-sided tape for a little piece of double-sided tape on the pedestal to uh, hold it in place while you do run the screws through it <coughs> the arms and the the uh, handles for the cart run back to to the cart and are tabbed keyed into the cart with this little tab right here that fits down in into a, a cart platform and it's just held on with a screw after you get it in there I don't think there's any point in taking that apart the body will come off after you take the arms off you just pull it straight out like that and there's the, the body with the head glued to it this head is made in three parts, the hat, the head, and then the base. They're just super glued together and then super glued to the body. It's pretty simple. The inside is pretty much the same as this guy was and some of the others that I built. You have an M20 motor driving a, a gear on it. A bevel gear that drives this bevel gear hooked to a three millimeter or eight inch shaft it's 32 millimeters long from from one side to the other that shaft drives these little cranks that are offset 
one one uh, up and one down as far as our orientation. The leg is made of three parts: this pin, this upper leg part, and the lower leg part. The pivots for the parts are made with uh, these T pins that I got at Walmart. They have a one millimeter diameter. I just poke them through there and cut them off with some side cutters. Doesn't look that great. I'm trying to think of something better. The motor is held in once you get it in the right place with just a dab of hot glue. The shaft is held in place to the frame. I call this the frame with a single screw right here. It, it's just a little clamp that, that fits up in this angled part and then screws down. To assemble it, what you want to do is put the motor in first, put the gear on, you put the motor in from, from here and slide it down that way, put the gear on, then put your shaft assembly, you'll have to make it up separately in there, then put the clamp on, and then put the legs on one at a time. These little shoulder bolts hold the leg pins and allow them to slide up and down. Let's turn it on and watch it run for a second. It's a pretty simple device, uh, more or less the same mechanics I've been using in my other machines. This one uses a little bit different. That's maybe I'll post something on that in the future. It's a, uh, I'll talk about that later. Uh, that's pretty much it. The, the shaft assembly is made by putting the parts on a block of wood and then just driving the pin into them. You have to, it's kind of a picky thing, but it's not, it's not that hard. You lay them on a block of wood with a hole in it so you can drive the shaft through like the gear here. Once you get that assembled, make sure you get, you have a little slop in every direction so nothing binds. You'll want to wire the motor up first so that uh, you can test the operation at, at every step to make sure if it starts binding, you can fix it. Make sure you get the wire long enough that you can assemble it. Uh, when you print it, the boiler, there is a sacrificial layer, right? Right in here, this will have a layer which you'll just trim out with a hobby knife. And that'll allow the, whole, the switch to go through there, assemble, already assembled to the motor. You'll have to add the battery off, but that's no big deal. It's got a plug on it. Now, once you get the switch in there, you can hot glue it in place. I used uh, some magnets set up here. Uh, this is how I did it. I held the switch in place so I could get so I could hot glue it without it moving. The wheels are held on by shoulder bolts. That's pretty simple. Make sure they turn freely. Use a file or whatever you need to. Get everything freed up. Well, I have it reassembled again. It only took a couple of minutes. The only, only thing you need to keep in mind is the screw goes into all the way into the frame, so make sure that uh, the main body 
in the frame, you can see the holes through there for the screw to go in through. Well, that's about it. I'll post some uh, pictures showing the assembly sequence at the end of the video, and I'll put the plans on Thingiverse. Thank you.